welcome back okay last class we discuss about boolean options union differences and intersection now today we will discuss combine extract and separate how these things will work so if you have multiple object like this suppose you are doing any model or car model or the architecture model you will create this separate 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 pieces you want to do it in a single mesh so this combine will work for that so select two meshes and say combine say combine so it becomes single object you can check it in outliner as well previously these two are there now it's single so this is a history if you delete the history of this those two will get deleted so I'll undo that by pressing Ctrl Z and see that this is one object this is another object let's say combine it become one single object okay this is exactly opposite to that tool is called separate select this tool and say click on separate the combined object will become split it become two surfaces now one is here one is this this is how these two things will work okay next we'll go for extract you are doing any model suppose you are doing some model you want to extract some faces from existing object suppose I want these faces from here so let's say extract so you can see here in tool this will move according to the translate so click outside and select that one separately you can move however you want it can move this fully that portion will get extracted so similarly in that you can see some options if you click some offset say apply extracted to certain distance with uniform distance you can see here so I'll undo this undo is not working unfortunately So we'll select some faces, Let's say separate of and like you can see that the object will become single only. If not separated, it's a single mesh now. Okay, thanks. Okay, next move to the tool called average vertex. Okay, if you select a certain vertex for a reason, you can say click on average vertex. It will smoothen those selected vertexes. So if you keep, uh, keep clicking on this, so it, you can see that you know, smoothen, 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 and you can set the smoothen rate also as well. So we increase that one, so we increase more. So average vertex. So if you align the line flow, if it is a random variance, so you can probably use for some smooth on those area it's called average vertex obviously it's start shrinking the model too but you really want to shrink that one so you can use this tool for that next fill hole suppose so there is a gap in your model or any objects where you are doing a model so if you select these things any edge of this hole they fill hole so it will fill those hole with the assumption geometry you can see that so let's make it that fill hole so you can select any any edge any one of the edge from here so we have to do the fill hole okay 